Peace and love. It's your favorite chef, Amy, and I'm back showing y'all how to make apple turnovers. Listen, this was one of my favorite things to eat when I was growing up. Not necessarily apple turnovers, but like the apple strudels, but same thing. So basically you're going to use whatever apples that you want. I use a pink lady. That's the red apple. And then the green apple is, I can't remember. It's not a granny Smith apple though, because it wasn't tart. But use whatever apples you want. You're going to peel them. I used a peeler. Obviously, you can use a knife. I was going to show you all my skills like Regina King did on The Heart of They Fall. But that's for another video, another time. After you slice your apples, you're going to dice them really small. Or you could, have diced, you could dice them smaller than this, but that works. And then you're going to start building your custard. I wanted to create that same taste um filling as the apple strudels and the apple turnovers that come in the box so i wanted my custard to be really really thick so i'm starting with some milk some cinnamon some cardamom i'm using my vanilla grade some nutmeg you can also use ground nutmeg this is what i had in my pantry so i made it work i also added some flax seeds for my binding agent so this is going to help it be custardy and make it be thick this is my first time making this y'all so i'm really just winging it i went on pinterest seen a few recipes and then i just did my own thing here so do what works for you i added some butter to i don't know why to do why i added it but you know it sounded right i also added some coconut milk don't know why i did that either but it also sounded right this coconut milk though i did not like I didn't even like the smell of it, but that was all that I had, so made it work. So we're gonna just stir all the ingredients together and then we're gonna let it boil and get thick before we add our apples. So as you can see here, it's starting to thick up like I like it, like we want that custard vibe going on. We're gonna add our apples and we're going to boil them or cook them until they get tender. Or halfway tender however you like it just cook it to your preference I didn't cook these long enough um, because some of the recipes that I've seen they didn't even cook the apples they just put them in the um, apple turnover and let it cook in the oven but I didn't think that was gonna work out too well so I cooked them and for a little bit but you want to definitely cook them until they're soft and then you're gonna start with your custard but as you can see here we cooked them and then the custard got thicker our apples got tender see look at that yes see I wanted that custardy effect right yeah like syrupy or not even syrupy thicker than syrup but that's what I was going for the consistency that I was going for it could have been a little bit thicker but this works like I said first time so now I know for the next time so since our apples are done we're gonna go ahead and start um, filling up our croissant rolls So when I was opening my croissant rolls, it would not pop open like normally. So I stuck a knife in there to get them open. Yeah, and I cut some of them, but it's okay. All I did was put them back together and then close them back up really, really good with the dough. So we're gonna go ahead and start filling our croissants with the apple custard mix that we made a few seconds ago. And then we're gonna roll those up and then the other four, um, I did them the same, but two of them, I added a layer of the cinnamon and the cardamom on them. I've seen some recipes where they did that first, or not first, but they um, made a little mixture and then rubbed the bottom of the croissants with it. I didn't want it to be like too sweet or have too much, so I didn't do them on all of them and like I said y'all this is my first time so I'm really just experimenting here and just making up stuff as I go along and seeing what is going to work and what is not going to work and that is totally okay like do what works for you have fun with it do not stress out listen it's all good
Okay, so we finished rolling our apple turnovers. Look at them. They look so beautiful. I put too much filling in some of them. It's okay, though. They still look great. We're going to go ahead and bake them according to the directions. While the apple turnovers are cooking, we're going to start making our drizzle. I'm using this, um, what is this, cream cheese. I'm using this milk again. Oh, don't buy this, y'all. Well, you can buy it if you want, but I did not like it. I didn't even like the smell, like I said before. It just was, ooh, I was making this um, drizzle, and I was like, what is this smell? I thought it was the cream cheese, but it was the milk. Like, I don't know. It just, it wasn't right. So anyways, <laughs> so I got my cream cheese. I got my coconut milk. I added some powder sugar. I added lemon, hoping that it was going to cut down on the, the smell of the coconut milk, but it didn't really help. It wasn't bad though when I drizzled it on top of the apple turnovers. But while I was making this, mm -mm. I'm in the kitchen. Hey, I'm whipping, whipping. Y'all see that whip, whip? Oh, I ain't get there yet. Okay, wait. I'm about to start whipping right so in a minute. Okay, there we go. Whip, whip. Flick at a wrist. A flick at a wrist. A flick at a flick at a flick at a wrist. So basically, you want to whisk this until your um, drizzle is smooth. And to your liking, so it can just basically just drizzle over the um, apple turnovers. And I kept adding lemon juice to, I don't know why I added more milk, y'all, but I didn't figure it out it wasn't the milk yet until later. Um, you can use a squeezer. Mine was over there in the drainer. Um, so I just squoze my lemons. As you can see, the seeds went in there. So make sure you get your seeds out. I'm just going to whisk and whisk and whisk until you get this consistency that you like. It should be a little loose, not too thick. And then it actually melted when I started to put it on top of the apple turnovers. But you see that consistency? That's the consistency that you want to go for. Almost kind of like a, a icing on the cake. Okay, so y'all see the consistency here? I love it. Despite the milk, it worked well. I'm trying to show y'all why I got the spoon turned the wrong way. I don't know. I'm about to turn it back over. <laughs> so y'all can see from the front view how the drizzle. See that? See? Yeah, that's what you want that's what you want look at that nice and creamy not too thick not too loose it's gonna just drizzle over the apple turnovers perfectly and look at these apple turnovers you can't tell me that these do not look like there was a whole store bought box type situation going on and it was so easy to make so look this is how they came out with our drizzle you see how it just went on there beautifully mm, amazing and then i added some powdered sugar on there to make it look real fancy or whatever they were really really good y'all delicious those are our apple turnovers let me know what you think